President Trump won't have to release his tax returns to get on California's 2020 primary ballot. You see CBS 13 political analyst Gary Dietrich here with more on that. You surprised by the California Supreme Court's decision today to do this? Not really, because they had tipped their hand, guys, during the testimony itself and when they were asking questions. They're raising a lot of, well, what is this going to mean? Somebody's got to release their high school transcripts down the road? <laughs> so, so, interestingly, though, this doesn't happen all that often. A unanimous decision by the state Supreme yeah. Court in favor of Trump on this. And by the way, spillover effect because 10 other states had also put in requirements mm -hmm. from one to 10 years of tax returns. Now, with the California ruling as a precedent, those are probably going to fall as well. Yeah. You're watching Prop 13 closely, I know, for us. A new poll showing people are split. Talk I mean, about. dead even yeah. down yeah. the middle, Tony. And what that portends, guys, whenever you have polling numbers that are that close, what does it mean? Huge dollars are going to be spent on either side of this thing. It is going to be a battle royal for Prop 13 and that revision, at least for businesses, next year, it looks like on our ballot. So campaign 2020, a lot of people talking about Kamala Harris, especially after last night's presidential debate. We've seen her number slipping in the polls. She's cut staff, cut offices. Yeah. Can we expect her to bow out of the race? I don't think she's going to be out anytime soon. I, I, I mean, she's made no bones about it. She said, I'm all in on Iowa. I'm going to Iowa. I'm almost going to move to Iowa, she said. And then she's also putting a lot of stock, guys, in South Carolina, where she's putting a lot of efforts as well. But the problem right now is new national polls showing that voters 65 plus, three to one for Biden. Hmm. Those hmm. under, like 18 to 24, same percentage for Sanders. So where's she going to find the votes? That's yeah. the challenge right now. Before we let you go, you got some news on Governor Newsom and how the PG&E shut, shutoffs have impacted his popularity. Well, we got some new numbers this week, polling numbers. His favorability rating, three points in the positive on, in general. But if you ask how he's handled the power shutoff, it goes three points into the negative. The good news for him, hey, the legislature only gets a 39% favorable rating, <laughs> yeah. and the utilities, obviously, less than that. So amongst those three... He's looking good. He's yeah. doing all right. All right. Gary, as always, thank you so much for your insight. Okay, guys. See you soon.